at all these fruits and vegetables. Don't take them for granted. They're actually pretty amazing. Not just your average amazing, but pretty, pretty amazing. Maybe if back in the day, Magellan had had these, his fate would have been different. In 1519, the Portuguese captain Ferdinand Magellan commanded a voyage from South America to the Pacific Ocean. After three months at sea, the original crew of 200 was down to only 35, thanks to scurvy. Interestingly, Chinese navigation records stretching far back have never mentioned any case of scurvy. It is believed that on Chinese ships, a stock of green tea and soybeans and fresh vegetables harvested from wooden tubs brought on board meant that scurvy was unheard of. Using diet and nutrition as a method to prevent and heal illness is in Chinese medicine known as diet therapy. It uses foods to affect various functions of the body, thus improving health. In plain words, you are what you eat, so eat for your health. In his manuscript, Prescriptions Worth a Thousand Ounces of Gold, of the Tang Dynasty 1500 years ago, Dr. Sun Simel pointed out, treatment of illness should first start with the diet. Only if diet alone could not fully restore health should medicine then be used. And the most loyal fan of diet therapy? Well, the Emperor of China, of course. There is no one who took this more seriously than the Emperor, of course. Now, of course, we aren't able to compare with the Emperor. He has a whole hospital full of the finest doctors to himself. Do you? Of course not. So, pull up your chair and listen carefully. Diet therapy has been passed down over the millennia for a very simple reason. Most of the important foods that are used are seen commonly in everyday life. Important diet therapy food number one, Chinese yam. Shanyang, a type of Chinese yam that not only tastes good and is inexpensive, but is packed full of nutrients that can nourish the whole body. Relieves coughs, diarrhea, back pain, reduces inflammation and infection, nourishes the lungs, stomach, liver, makes hair glossy and strong, improves memory, no wonder its name in Chinese literally means mountain medicine. Important diet therapy food number two, duck meat. The last Chinese emperor, Pui, recorded in his autobiography, The First Half of My Life, that breakfast used to include dishes such as duck with three fresh ingredients, duck strips with seafood, and the list goes on. In fact, duck meat was such a staple of the imperial diet that the Empress Dowager went through 30 ducks a month. Surmise it to say, the Imperial family had a love for duck meat. Why was this? Let's take a look at the blackboard. According to Chinese medicine, the body is affected by agents such as heat, cold, wind, dampness, dryness or fire, which can remain in the body causing illness. The most special thing about duck meat is that it isn't considered warm or hot, so ingesting it can relieve excess fire in the body. Levels of cholesterol in duck meat are also comparatively not considered high, so for those conscious of their weight, appetites can be thoroughly satiated with some lean duck meat. As the saying goes, there's medicine in the food and food in the medicine. Pairing the right foods together and eating the right foods at the right time keeps us healthy from head to toe. Well, I definitely could get used to this eating for health business. Let's go find out some more about diet therapy.